Fallbrook Technologies has been around a little over 10 years. This is our 10th anniversary as Fallbrook Technologies, but the inventor, Don Miller, actually started on this before that time. He was trying to set the land speed record for bicycles, and he realized that the transmission, how he was able to convert that energy from his legs and his lungs you know, into the, the mechanism of the bike and down to the road and getting it to the pavement, that transmission of energy was going to be the limiting factor. So he was trying all of these different designs, and he ended up coming up with this geometry that we call the Vinci CVP. We call it a CVP because it's a continuously variable planetary. As we began looking at the technology, the guys that were initially looking at it realized it was analogous to a planetary gear set, and which made it unique among the CVTs that were in industry and began to realize all the different broad applications that that could go into. So over the last 10 years, we commercialized it first in bicycles, but now we're working with new partners, licensing partners, to be able to provide that same functionality and the potential benefits uh, for automotive applications, off-highway applications, and looking at industrial applications as well. Well, the Makino V56i is really support our product development because it's removed a bottleneck that we had previously. Our machine shop was constantly getting requests to be able to do things that were stretching the boundaries of our old equipment. We went to Makino, um, asked them to run some sample parts for us, and they did that in their applications facility. When we went in, um, we had given them some targets for run times, so we were trying not only to improve quality of part, quality of surface finish, but we needed to reduce cost. And so we gave them some pretty demanding tasks or targets to hit. Um, they were able to do that. Uh, being able to get in and, and measure uh, things that we weren't able to measure before and machine things that we weren't able to, to machine before has really taught us a, a lot about what's required for optimal performance. We reduced the cycle time on a part a great deal, met or exceeded our quality requirements, and have always been very happy with the dimensional accuracy that that machine is capable of holding. If we go into our metrology department and there's an anomaly or something comes back and there's a question in the inspection data, I tend to question the inspection data. I know what the machine is capable of and I believe that that machine is going to hold those tolerances regardless of whatever situation hits it. There's a lot of features that the Makino has built into it that allows us to run lights out. So not only are we producing parts with our one shift operation, but we run into the night lights out and we gain benefits there, even reducing the cost of those parts further. Some of our parts were taking eight hours to run and we've reduced that cycle time down to two hours. So we've seen huge reduction in cycle time. We're providing parts to companies that have their own manufacturing capability. So we are very pleased with the level of quality that we're able to deliver to those types of people and companies. The Makino is gonna help us keep offering, providing a very high level quality part to anybody that comes to the table.